Hi guys, today we're going to look at a particular question in one of your exercises, exercise 7.2 question 9, um, because this was a question that a lot of you raised and I think it's a really good opportunity for us to look at how we do problem solving. So here's the question, uh, A is the point negative 2, 0 and B is the point 2, 6. Find the point C on the x-axis such that the angle ABC is 90 degrees. Now, with most questions like this, the best place to start is always to draw a diagram, right? Because information that's presented in a text is very difficult to understand. But once we begin to put it on a diagram, then things hopefully should start to make sense. So let's plot the point uh, A here, which is negative 2, 0, uh, and the point B, which is 2, 6. That should be fairly clear. This doesn't have to be super accurate, just a rough sketch. Well, then the next thing is to consider where the point C might be. Uh, and the key thing here is that the point C is on the x-axis. And that means that it's going to be somewhere there, isn't it? It's going to be somewhere on the x-axis. Uh, and so uh, we also know that the angle ABC must be 90 degrees. In other words, uh, we're looking for a point where this angle here, let me draw that again, this angle there should be 90 degrees, right? So let's say that this is our point C, right? It's on the x-axis and, and hopefully it makes that angle ABC 90 degrees. Well, that means that we know the y-coordinate because we're on the x-axis, the y-coordinate must be zero. And so it's only the coordinate P, that we're uh, the coordinate of x that we don't know. So let's call that P, right? So there we've set up the problem. Now, how do we go about solving it? Well, we're told, aren't we, that the angle ABC must be 90 degrees. Well, that tells us, therefore, that this gradient here of AB and this gradient here, BC, must be perpendicular, right? AB and BC must be perpendicular. So if we calculate those two gradients, we know the relationship between them because any two gradients which are perpendicular, if I multiply them together, I should get negative 1, right? Remember that rule, that m1 times by m2 is equal to negative 1 if those two gradients are perpendicular. So let's go about calculating those gradients. Let's do the gradient AB, so the gradient of MAB here. Well, that's going to be y2 minus y1, which is 6 minus 0 divided by x2 minus x1, which is 2 minus minus 2, okay? And that's going to be 6 divided by 4, which simplifies to give 3 upon 2. So that's the gradient AB. Well, now what we've got to do is we've got to find the gradient of BC. So the gradient of BC, what's that going to be equal to? Again, it's going to be y2 minus y1, so 0 minus 6 divided by x2 minus x1, which is p minus 2. So in the end, what we get there is minus 6 over p minus 2. Okay. So to clarify, this is what we've got. We've calculated our two gradients, mab and mbc. And now we're just going to use the relationship between them. Because they're perpendicular, we know that their product, that is MAB times by MBC, must be equal to negative 1. And so what we get here is 3 upon 2 times by minus 6 over P minus 2 should equal negative 1. OK, so we can, we can multiply these together. So we're going to get minus 18 here is going to equal to 2p minus, uh, sorry, minus 18 over 2p minus 4 on the bottom is equal to negative 1. So if I multiply across, I'm going to get minus 18 is equal to minus 2p plus 4, right? So I multiply both sides by 2p minus 4. And if I, if I resolve that, then 2p is going to equal to 22. Right, I, I add 2p to both sides and I add 18 to both sides. And then dividing by 2, p 
is equal to 11. So what have we found? We found that the coordinate of C is the coordinate 11, 0. So I hope that helps. And I think really the most important thing here for you to understand is the way you approach a problem uh, you need to start and a good way to start an attempt is always to try to sketch it out and to see what it is that, that things might look like and from there you might get a clue about how best to proceed okay guys take care i will see you again next time